Finally, Friday afternoon. I tell you what, this whole week it has been a copy paste repeat scenario with our weather. It's been sunny each and every day. The mornings have been cool and comfortable, but the afternoons have been warm. And today, in fact, is our day that we have the best shot of tying, if not breaking a record high this afternoon. Currently 79 in Atlanta. So we have a few hours to go to peak out and get max out with our temperature. The record for the day is only 82, so we'll see if we end up making it there. 77 right now in Covington. It is 76 up in Canton. Very comfortable in the North Georgia mountains and currently 80, that hot spot on the map in LaGrange. You notice the rest of the afternoon getting ready for Friday night, maybe trunk or treat, or maybe you're going to a Team 1-1 high school football game. We've got those temperatures falling back from the 80s into the 70s after sunset, which is at 653 today. And then as we get into the evening, hours falling back through the 60s there. So really comfortable outside. Very warm, unseasonably warm though. We averaged low 70s this time of year today going for a forecast high of 83 this afternoon. If we make it there, we're going to break our record of 82. That was set in both 1931 and 1940. So that record standing for over 90 years. And you can see tomorrow 84 the forecast high. The record for that day from 2010 was only 85. So we'll see if we end up doing it. But once we get past these two unseasonably warm days, we're finally going to see a temperature change coming in. Tracking a cold front that's pushing through the Midwest into the Corn Belt right now. And as that slides in, it'll initiate a cool down. And behind it little wedge of cool air sets the stage for our first rain chance in Metro Atlanta that we've seen in nearly a month since just after Helene. Forecast track this afternoon, bright sunshine. We're up in the low 80s today for highs, and we'll keep those clear skies around for your Friday evening plans as well. Tomorrow, though, as that front starts to approach, we'll have a sunny start to the day, but bring in some clouds later on in the afternoon. You see the temperatures in the morning, 50s, really mild start to the day, so feeling a little cool for about an hour or two in the morning, and then by lunchtime up into the upper 70s again. By late in the afternoon, a few clouds start to increase, and maybe enough moisture. There could be a stray shower somewhere. When I say maybe enough, we're remaining very optimistic. A few of us will get raindrops this weekend. I'm not sure how many of us actually will see that rain. But tomorrow behind that front, look what happens to our winds. They turn northeasterly. That's a wedge of cool air building in, and that sets the stage for a breezy, more cloudy and significantly cooler Sunday out there. We'll start the day upper 50s and we really don't see much of a climb in the afternoon. Maybe some upper 60s to low 70s, but this model is holding that wedge a lot more stubborn in the low 60s. Now what will come Sunday with this added cloud cover is that that moisture in the clouds is going to try to wring out a few spotty showers, maybe a little patchy drizzle. This model is not impressed with that rain chance. Other models are, so we've got a 20% rain chance in for Sunday, but otherwise just more cloud cover, breezy and cooler outside. 80s again today and tomorrow ahead of that rain chance. Now, if we do pick up rain, it's not going to be much. We're talking a tenth of an inch at best, so a little damp pavement for a few of us. Most of us, though, just the cloud cover, the breeziness and the change in the temperatures outside the second half of the weekend. If we don't get any rain, we're going to keep adding to this rain free streak. A streak rather yesterday was full 25 days without any rain in Atlanta. Today we'll make day number 26 in a row without any measurable rain. Now I know the one good thing about sunny skies in the afternoons and crisp and cool overnight is that it helps to change some of those leaf colors over, right? So look at uh, downtown Blue Ridge. And you can see we've got some beautiful orange and yellow hues showing up there. Still some color left to be changed over in the background. Here's the deal. Georgia Forestry Commission each and every week. They're monitoring every little angle of the state and we've compiled it all together with this map we brought in from explorefall.com. But you can see not a lot of color in the metro. We're starting to see some trees popping earlier than others, but up in the North Georgia mountains, especially North Central Georgia, Northeast Georgia, we've got near peak conditions approaching here in the coming days and week. So those highest elevations, those are great places to go check out some fall color this weekend. It's going to take another week or two before those lower mountain valleys start to show that better color as well. So that's something we're looking out towards. Here is your seven day forecast. 80 is on the way today and tomorrow. There's our temperature cool down coming though as we look at the Sunday and Monday time frame. And by the second half of the weekend, after the cooler weather moves in, it's going to stick around for Tuesday as well. Warming back up Halloween 78. The high temperature looks dry right now for trick or treating in the evening.